Superman at this point has been adapted in any kind of way you can think of. I like and don't like many adaptations of the character, but of all the ways Superman has ever been adapted, Smallville is what I feel the best version we have ever seen from Superman other than the comics. Smallville adds the man in Superman that I feel a lot of adaptations of the character have missed. In Smallville, Clark feels like an alien that could come off as a human. Clark in this series doesn't feel like a god or is super overpowered and could do anything he wants. Or that it could not be believable that he could live amongst humans for so long. This version of the character couldn't even fly for 10 years. Well, he did sometimes, but most of the time Clark never flies. Which if you didn't know, in the comics, Superman never flew until later. But in the comics, at first, Superman never was able to fly. At first, Superman only jumped really high. Which is what happens in Smallville. Clark is only able to jump really high, sometimes fly, and then later on he learns how to fly and becomes Superman. Also in this series, they give a little bit of an explanation for how Clark feels about heights and apparently has this weird thing with being a little bit afraid of heights. So I guess you could say they add more depth and irony to the character when it comes to his flying. This version of Superman throughout all 10 seasons of Smallville feels like a character that could live amongst us and has very similar problems like the rest of us. Clark doesn't have everything figured out. He is a very flawed character that tries to find his place in his world. Smallville also has the perfect tone for a Superman adaptation. It has lighthearted moments mixed with humorous moments, but not in a cheesy way, mixed with dark and serious moments. This show is filled with some humorous things like I said, but there aren't any quips and the show takes its universe seriously and everything matters. To me, a nice balance of different tones fits Superman perfectly. You also have the teen drama element in this series, but that's only in the early seasons of Smallville when Clark is in high school. I'm sure many will say that teen drama tone doesn't fit Superman, but I think it fits a young Clark Kent in high school. I feel they execute it all well quite nicely. Now I'm not saying Smallville is how Superman should be adapted every time, but when talking about a near perfect adaptation from how the character feels like from the comics, how he acts, how his personality should be, how the tone of his entire story should be, then Smallville does it the best, in my opinion. Like I said, I respect all the different types of Superman out there. I like some of the unique adaptations of the character with the different perspectives and tones. I'm not a fan of every single version of like taking Superman to a different and unique direction. But I feel Superman is able to explore different ideas and different tones. But like I said, out of all the Superman adaptations, Smallville is the best one out of them all. And if someone wants to try to do a perfect adaptation to Superman, then this is the way to go in my opinion from the tone, writing, and how the character should act. Not saying to do a whole young Superman story, but with how the character is written and how the character should act, the writing and the tone of the character. I feel in the future if someone wants to do a perfect and a great Superman adaptation, they should take a lot of inspiration from Smallville. And obviously from the comics, but like, the personality of Superman and the writing and tone should come from Smallville. If someone wants to do a great Superman adaptation. While this Superman didn't sport the costume, his personality was formed through trials and tribulations throughout a ton of different stages in his life. This was the adaptation on who Clark Kent really was as a person, and who Clark really was at his core. All this wouldn't be as great as it is if it wasn't for the performance itself. None of this would work if it wasn't for Tom Welling nailing every aspect of the character from beginning to end. Clark and Tom at first don't really sound or act like what Superman is supposed to be. I guess you could say he looked and sounded more like a young Clark Kent, and well that was because he was. As the show went on, Clark and Tom's performance begins to evolve into a more Superman type of personality. Then by the time the show hits its last three seasons, I felt like, wow, this is it. This is Superman and Clark Kent in every way, shape, and form. Also the writing helps with that too. Tom Welling's voice gets deeper into sounding more like Superman. Tom Welling also becomes huge by the end of the series just like Superman. It's just a perfect evolution, and Tom basically played every stage of Superman perfectly to me. For those that say Clark never actually became Superman, then they must have not watched the later seasons. Clark was essentially acting like Superman without the name when he was going around as the Blur. Smallville went from being a teen drama, young Clark Kent show, to then turning into a pre-Superman slash Clark Kent drama show, then to becoming a Superman superhero series, but instead be called Superman, he went around calling himself the Blur. I know the blur is a controversial thing that the show did, but I honestly thought it was cool and I loved the pre-Superman suits. I even dressed up as the blur for Halloween a few times when I was a kid, like those suits looked so badass. For those that say a character to be considered Superman, they need to wear the suit, I just disagree. 
To me, that statement is like saying Hugh Jackman was never Wolverine because he didn't wear his iconic suit. And also in the movies, he was mostly called Logan throughout his time playing the role. So does that mean that adaptation of Wolverine was never truly Wolverine? That's just how I see it. It would have been nice to see Smallville Superman eventually put on the suit, but we got something similar when he was running around as the Blur. At the end of the day, he was wearing an S on his chest, and that's all that I need. Also, if you want to see Smallville's Clark in a Superman suit going around as Superman, you can read the Smallville Season 11 comics, which take place after the series, where we see where his character goes next as Superman. Plus, fun fact, Tom Welling and Michael Rosenbaum, who played Clark and Lex on Smallville, are apparently adapting those comics for an anime reunion movie with the old cast. Just putting that out there, because we're finally going to see Tom Welling going around calling himself Superman and acting like Superman instead of not calling himself Superman and acting like Superman. Also, throughout the years on Smallville, he fought through almost his entire rogues gallery from the comics, and we pretty much saw all of the characters that were his friends and allies from the comics throughout the series. Something that Smallville does that not a lot of Superman adaptations do is they explored Krypton. Throughout the series, we learn a lot about Krypton and its people, how they operated. We also see how Krypton affects Clark throughout the series in positive and negative ways. The heavy involvement with Krypton throughout the series, I feel was great for the show and for the character development of Clark. Like this show went beyond just a young Clark Kent series. Like I said, the final three seasons of Smallville really feels like a Superman show. Something Smallville did to its benefit as well was it essentially took some inspiration from Spider-Man. Surprisingly, a lot of story beats from Spider-Man really fits in a story about a young Clark Kent perfectly. You have the best friend that turns into the enemy. An enemy who turns into a friend. The parental figures that gives the young hero the morals that define who they later become. The first love that was never meant to be due to tragedy. The unexpected soulmate. They also have both characters going through similar trials like testing their limit to see if they will cross that line and kill someone. Using their powers responsibly. The conflict of both lives and how it affects our heroes and the ones they love. Like there's so many similarities to Spider-Man in this series and it's all done so well to fit Superman perfectly. Looking back at the comics though, Superman, like his personality, isn't that similar to Spider-Man, but their morals and their internal conflicts, relatability in many ways, both of them losing many people throughout their lives that impact their character. Superman and Spider-Man are pretty damn closer to being similar than what people think because Superman is pretty relatable in the comics. Which is why it makes sense, I guess, to take a lot of inspiration from the most relatable character of all time, Spider-Man, to make Superman even more relatable than he already was. The parallels between the two characters have always been there in the comics. But Smallville adds and expands to the Superman lore by taking some inspiration from Spider-Man when it comes to certain story beats for a young Superman series which makes the two characters even more alike. Superman has personality, heart, charisma, humor, and a range of other emotions that really makes him feel human like the rest of us. Smallville captures everything I ever wanted in Superman from the comics and then some by adding additions to the lore that I feel makes the character even better. Smallville took its time with great character development and a long evolution from a kid who was a bit whiny, acted nothing like Superman, because he was still learning about how his powers worked and how to be a hero, to slowly over time, accepting destinies, losing so many people, sacrificing so much, and by the end of the series he becomes Superman. A beautiful 10 year journey that most superhero stories and origin stories would fly right through the origin story like it didn't even matter. As great as this Superman was, there's so much more to Smallville than just Clark Kent and Superman. So many characters like Clark go on so many journeys I'll eventually get to, but for right now, this video is about just Superman, and Smallville is the best of Superman.